We'll try this again. She called three times, so she's really trying to reach us, and we're trying to respond to this in balance and harmony, quite frankly. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Hey, good morning. I was trying to call you to tell you you have some mail, and I was already down the ramp. I was going to wait for Joe to come get it, but I can't. I'm oh, yeah. No, no, you so, didn't need to come that far. Wait a minute. So I, it's on the porch, on the floor of the porch. There's the box on the porch, so the box is on top of the mail, so I can't blow away. But it's sticking out so you can find it. Okay. Okay, and are you guys still in the back? Uh, yeah, we're in the back. We we went yesterday. We're trying to sell all of our stuff so we can move the rig because we got to get the stuff out of the rig and, you know, and sold so we can leave. So we're doing that. We got a Why lot of... Why do you we, have to get the stuff out of the rig before you can leave? Well, because... Well, it's a long story, but to move a rig, it has to be prepared correctly and... You know, you have to, we have to sort through it and, and get her ready to, to move. And that means getting stuff tore down and, and, and sort it out and get rid of what you don't need because we're moving her permanently. Albert, Albert and I have lived in a motorhome. I know what you have to do to move it, but shouldn't it be stowed all the time so you can go wherever you want to go? No, it, it doesn't, doesn't work. I just, I just need you to know Albert cannot come home. Well, you are there, so I really need you guys to get your stuff mm. together. He can't okay. take the stress. He can't handle having another stroke. And I don't know when he's coming home. Uh, he, they're talking about putting him in a different hospital for some intensive therapy, but that may not happen. So you guys need to get your ducks in a row. If you can't sell your stuff, I don't know what to tell you, but you've got to leave. Because Albert and I cannot take any more stress. What? He what? He is uh, not in good shape. He is not okay. And I, I, I am obviously not okay with my husband. I'm 41 years laying in a hospital bed, and they're not being able to tell me what the hell they're going to do. Sure. So I am trying to be as nice as possible here. I really need you guys to take me seriously and be gone, okay? I'm not trying to be mean, but I need you gone. I can't take this, and Albert can't take it. So we love you guys. We let you stay. We we tried to help you, and the last three months have been absolute hell. So please, please, Laura, find a way. Well, I gotta go. Um, I gotta call Albert back. Uh, okay, I, so I don't get to ask anything or or anything. Do I, I get I to say anything? You will have to talk louder. I can't hear you. Okay. Do I get to say anything? Well, if you need to say it, just whatever you need to say. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, you know, we haven't drank. We haven't drank in almost 20 nights to be six months. Uh, we've been staying in here. We've been being quiet. We've been trying to stay out of the way as much as we can. Well, I can't do this. I can't do this. I just, okay. I tried to be nice. I got to go. Okay. I just need to ask you a question. Joseph and... I was going to ask, well, Joseph and I can go stay in our car and we can leave our rig here while we get our stuff out and get, get the rig moved because the rig needs to, you know, the rig need, you know, we can't just, yeah. And there's a lot she's not even willing to even listen to. So go ahead and get the mail, Joey, off the porch. It was mm -hmm. not sitting there, baby. Yeah, it was. And it was a fun thing to wake up to. You know, I was finally getting to sleep and getting some peace and... And she's trying to blame it on little old you know who, as you know who, you know. And uh, it's quite awful. And, uh, you know, what do you do when the world is full of the ooey, ooey, ooh? And uh, I can't just movie, movie, ooh. And I really pray for Albert because she acts like we don't care and we never cared. And we've been here seven months helping, doing errands doing landscaping, cleaning attics, uh, taking to doctor's appointments, letting him use our car, paying 300 a month every month, and uh, paying for groceries too. And um, uh, really what haven't we done? Babysat, 
done laundry, done housework, you know. I, and Joe did the whole landscaping, and we cut a tree out by hand because Paulette insisted that we do so. So I really don't know. I think she needs to go, but that's not my call. All I can do is try to shine through it, and that's all I can do. Because, you know, it's it's awful. Yeah, it's awful. So, anyway, loves, I got to go because I, 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 I think I'm going to upchuck. Uh, yeah, I got to upchuck that stuff.